close to impossible, a crazy trick with a demonstration of a limit of human capabilities or just some kind of fake. Do you remember the show on Discovery called Mythbusters? So imagine that you are now watching it and I will try to take on the role of Jamie Hanneman and tell you whether it's possible to perform a trick called close to impossible in real life. But before that, as always, friends, make your favorite drink and, of course, enjoy my Russian accent. It will be interesting. Last week I received about 30 messages on my Instagram with a video of an athlete named The Black Turbo performing an impossible trick. Going to his profile I analyzed the page and saw that his videos on average gain about 30 to 40 thousand of views and comments rarely reach 400. But this time the video with CTI gained as many as 137 thousand of views and gained way more comments. That is because the athlete who as I understand is very famous famous in the circles of who are engaged in calisthenics left an ambition signature under this video, which sounds like magic close to impossible. I was born to be wild, 49 years old and I'm still crazy. Real or fake? Haters gonna say fake. That is, the athlete made it clear that he did CTI for real. But before I do my investigation, I'll tell you that this guy is really cool. This is one of those athletes who shows that even when you are under 50 years old, you can give a head start to many young athletes. Everything that he does in statics is really awesome. Front lever with weights, crazy muscle ups, pull ups with weights and much more. However, his CTI is fake and I'm gonna prove you that. For example, I took two matches. If you hold them like this, then only source of force should be your incredibly strong grip. If you let it go, the whole structure will fall. So if you really want to hold your body like this, then you should use your grip, otherwise your body will go towards your arms. However, I would have been a shitty Jamie Hanneman if I hadn't decided to finally do the same trick on camera. To do this, I went to visit my friends from Ukraine, Team Bar Stylers, and we did it together. Now I will describe you in details how we managed to do this. First of all, of course, we bought an elastic band for fitness. We needed it to take a fit away from the body and then cut it on the frame in post-production. So I simply went to the Amazon and bought tape expander. We chose a heavy expander with the hard of 1754 kg green color you can choose any color you want but will be better to choose bright one that will contrast with your pants and at this stage we can safely proceed the implementation of our trick i will leave links on the expanders in the description under this video well now let me show you a small lesson of editing. We will need the Adobe After Effects program and plugin called Mocha. To begin with, we select a good frame from an empty reference of our location, where there are no differences in lights, shadows and other things. Then compare it with the main footage, if necessary adjust it by color, and throw an animated noise. After that we cut out the person who holds rubber with masks, animating the mask of an empty frame, synchronously with the movements in the frame. Now you need to cut frame by frame the rubber on the legs. There are many ways to do this. In our case it's implemented using the roto brush tool. Now we need to rotoscope fit so that in place of the rubber was the alpha channel. After that we go to the mocha plugin and track the area where the rope is located. After this we transfer the tracking information to the zero object. Screen any static frame of a pants at top or bottom of the rubber. Then cut it out with masks. Throw it under the layer with the athlete's legs. Cut out and tie it to the zero object with tracking. After that we correct all the flows with the animated mask. Adding noise and color correction. Then fix the differences in lights. We removed the rubber that stretches between the athlete's legs and the hands of the person who holding it with the same rotoscope tool. That's it. Close to impossible is ready. Of course, if you do not really understand the post-production, then you can do it with simple transparent thread. But the result in the end will not turn out to be same quality. In general, I would like to say that I'm obviously not a hater of this athlete and moreover I think that he's actually cool. I'm 100% sure that at the age of 49 years only a few people achieve such results and he is absolutely addicted to his passion. But why he cheated his own subscribers I do not understand. In addition to all that has been said, I have to mention the person from whom in fact this myth about the possibility of performing an impossible hold 
was born and his name is Jasper Benincasa. Looking at his photos, fair enough to say that from that time and Jasper was born in 1921, this level of strength was truly beyond the limit. Jasper was already performing the front lever, back lever, human flag and many other elements of the calisthenics. However, I believe that he couldn't perform CTI, because judging from his stories, Jasper could manage to do around 130 pull up and 20 times on each hand. Needless to say, even now such a crazy results are unlikely to be repeated by anyone. The athlete himself died at the age of 90, that is in 2012, and what is interesting, on his tombstone reading close to impossible. Back then, there was no video editors, and I think that close to impossible was performed something like this. Wow! Well, everyone who liked our story, I argue to subscribe to this channel, put the like and turn on all the notifications, because this way we will definitely see you again. Stay strong and safe. See you. Oh, <laughs> yeah.